remember that as, there's only time to do new projects when the wild hearts aren't working. Right. And, and we don't really work that hard. You know? <laughs> and we make a lot of records and we kind of, you know, do a bit of international touring, but it's not like we stay on the road. Um, so there's always some time off. But this time, I think the Wild Hearts are taking a really long break, maybe for the whole year. You're taking a break, then? Yeah, this year? yeah, really? yeah. We just work as hard as we can, you know. I know. And it got really good. And when it gets really good, that's kind of a good time to, to just, you know, put the brakes on and give everyone a, a chance yeah. to go and do something else. And I, I didn't want to do a lot of different projects. I wanted to commit myself to something. And when Michael said that uh, he was putting the band together, I was like, sounds interesting. And then he said, well, Sammy's involved. I'm like, hmm, mm. sounds very interesting. And then he says, Todd Youth's involved. I'm like, oh, I'm in. Uh, I, I almost saw you, you guys playing with him in Turku last summer, actually. Like, I missed it for a day. But then I, I saw the video and I was like, wow, their energy together is so cool. Like, oh, yeah. Michael is so alive. Like, and you guys sounded so good together. What's the thing? Michael needs a, a, an active band, I think, because he spends so much time either up in the air or in the audience or, you know, running back and forward. He's not the kind of guy who stays in the middle. Right. So he needs something on stage to watch while the audience is trying to figure out where the fuck he is, you know, <laughs> so up in the heights. Somewhere. Yeah, I know, I saw that video. I was like, wow, I believe that. So cool. But I mean, it's the thing with Michael. He said that, he told me that he wanted to, to do this new thing, but he wanted it to be a band. Right. And a lot of people say that. And then it comes to it, and everyone's on a reduced wage, and it's kind of like the, the, the share and the, the writing and everything isn't quite like a band. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Well, Michael's just come up with everything that he said he was going to do. He's done 100%. Everything is uh, democratic. The writing, the, you know, the, the ideas. Yeah, I, re I really see him like that, actually. I would imagine that's how he is. The guy's got like, a heart of gold, you know? Yeah. Don't tell him that. <laughs> But um, you just released Hutzpah a few months ago. Yeah. And um, how did it go? Like, were you happy with the result? Yeah. Well, it was. It was the. It was a product of making a lot of records that had really long songs on. Like, yeah. The, the I loved it. Before. I really liked it. I really liked it. But you know, the thing that people were saying was that it was. Uh, it was the best album that we'd done, and I kind of don't agree. I think all of our. I don't think it's your good. best album, but I think it's a pretty damn good one. As long as you're not getting words, then that's good enough for me, you know? Right. And, and, and we're not getting words, because it was a good album. It's a very strong album, very catchy. Very, very um, catchy, I agree. Everything's three and a half minutes, so even people with the tiniest attention spans mm -hmm. can enjoy it. And it was a, that, was, that was the intention, that was what we wanted to do. Um, I, th I, I kind of thought you got to tour more, I guess, like after we, the album came out. We toured everywhere that we had. And as you know, South America didn't quite I work tried out. So we much. know you did. The Wild Gods, you know, we're just destined not to play South America. And I'll be going over no, there this not. year. No, you're not. I'm still gonna do it. I'll be going over there with Michael, so I'm happy. I get to. You guys are going down there? I would imagine so. First time. Well, Sammy's got like I'm, I am promising nothing, but Sammy's like got tons of contacts there. Michael's yeah, still. Yeah, I met Sammy in Brazil actually. Yeah. So that would be cool. In fact, if anything. I think I'd rather go to South America with this lot because I ain't singing. So yeah, I'll get I was going to say that uh, when I interviewed Scott, he, he kind of said that the reason he was singing in so many songs was because he didn't feel like singing. So now I thought, good, he's free now. Michael sings. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> After 20 years of just doing it, it's not just the singing, it's all of the interviews, all of the promotion. The guys are all hanging out in the bar or by the pool. And I'm in the dressing room talking to a bunch of people, which has got to be done. But, you know, Michael's doing it this time around, and I'm very, very happy about that. I'll be in the ball with Todd and Sammy and Jimmy. So, uh, with such a, like, I think you have such a diverse career, uh, what do you consider, like, your biggest musical achievement? Can you? Um, well, the thing I'm most proud of with the Wild yeah. Cards was their uh, endless nameless. Uh, because it was an artistic statement, and we at a time it pissed one, people off. I mean, it pissed people <laughs> off. But I think every artistic statement it should make people react. Yeah, it should yeah. elicit some kind of response. It shouldn't be easy, and uh, and that's why I feel so proud of it because it really did divide everyone from the critics to the fans to even the record company, even the band. Um, <laughs> and I love that. You know, that's, that's kind of that's no one does right. that anymore. <laughs> that's rock and roll, right? Yeah. 
as far as everything else is concerned, the last solo album that I did, I'd always wanted to do an album that had no gaps, uh -huh. which is one long piece of music. Uh -huh. I interviewed you when you released uh, your solo album. Uh -huh. I did it through mail. Like, you didn't know it was me. I, I ran a big article on it on the newspaper I write for. Well, it was it was great. It was a, it was a that was a bit of a um, uh, a bold, bit of a you know an ambitious kind of something I wanted to do ever since the first time I made an album. In fact, we wanted the Wild Dogs second album to be like that, to have no gaps and just be like constant music. And the record company didn't like that idea, so because the solo album was on my label, I got to do it. So right. So since we are talking to Brazil, maybe you could. Talk to people there and say, come on. Oh man, you've no idea. You've no idea. I wanted to come to Brazil for so long. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to get there. Whether or not I have to hitchhike over and sleep <laughs> in the streets, I'm going. Because I'm sick of not going to Brazil. Every year, it's <laughs> the Christmas, and I still haven't been. You know? And now I'm 40 years old. And I still haven't been. So, 2010, please wish, please, wish for Brazil, us to come. Help wish for us. Heart. Everyone just make. A wish that Michael Monroe comes to Brazil yes, and we'll see you there. Cool. That's great. Thank Yay. you so much. Thank Yay. you. My pleasure. Lovely to meet you.